Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Brindy. Hello, Vicente. Angel. It is. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Gladys. Good Hello, evening. Cristina. Good evening. Good evening, Hello. everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello I Irene. was learning how to share the screen, teacher. <laughs> oh, you were learning how to how to share the screen. That's fantastic. Now, yeah, did you I learn didn't it? know. Now you know. Yeah. Okay. So I think that so you I'm, have prepared. I'm ready with my presentation. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> so more than ready, right? Yeah. Cristina, how are you doing? I'm a little tired. I, I can see that, that you are like doing like. <laughs> you know, good to, yeah. Try to get. We, okay, that's, that's really good wash, to know. Wash, right? wash your face and you will feel fresh. Okay, that's so that you can you can stay a weekend in the class, right? Alejandro, good evening. Carla, hello. Hello, Carla. Good to see hello, you in the class. How are you? Hello, hello, Alejandro. Good to see you here. And Angel. Yeah, me too, me also, me also. Oh, my right. big team, Angel. I... <laughs> hey, Bre you know, every single time I ask for a volunteer, Brandy says, Angel, right? Oh, like, no, just just I, don't, I think you are. I think you will become good friends, right? Because Angel, you know what? I, when I when I ask for a volunteer, then you say uh, Brandy, right? So yeah, so that will be like like being in the same situation, right? Okay, let's wait a little bit so you, you can see there are some people gathering. Angie, no, let me see. That was Rafael. Okay, hello, Rafael. Can you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Hello, good to see you in the class again. Good evening. I hope that you are very energetic tonight because we need to, to have... um. A very special night so that we can learn. Daniel, where are you tonight? Hello, Maiden. Rocker, Hello, Maiden. Driving hey, a motorcycle. I'm in my house. Are you at home? <laughs> wow, yeah, that's I'm something home. good, right? Finally. <laughs> you finally are at home. Good. <laughs> you have a bike, Daniel? What? <laughs> you have a motorcycle? Motorcycle. Yeah, a motorcycle. Good. I can see Evelyn over here. Hello, Evelyn. Jessica. Hello, Welcome. Hello. Hello. Good to see you in the class. Okay, Which remember. Motorcycle? Good to see you, teacher. Hey, good to see you, Vicente. Vicente got into the class. Okay, I have 12 people. I'm on duty right now. I'm working. Are you working now? Yes, I'm in job. In my job. On duty. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... <laughs> I will I try was, to. Yeah, to I, more I, money to be in class too. More money. See, you're making some <laughs> some extra money, right? Yeah, more. <laughs> no, because uh, we are on duty twenty four hours. You know what, Vicente? Why don't we get some pizza at the end of the course, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will good. send you. I will go, send go, you go, by. Vicente. By. We will, send, we will yeah. send our, our, our addresses, right? So that you can send yeah. a pizza to everybody, right? People from San Miguel, people from my Santa best Ana, people from oh, San Salvador. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. But it's okay, good. no problem. <laughs> no, nah, we are just kidding, okay? <laughs> no, no. That would be really nice, right? Actually, it would be really nice. This group is fantastic, okay? I can see that you are very friendly people, that you know what you want, and that you are trying to do your best over here. That's what really matters, actually, right? Well, meanwhile, the rest of the people gather because it's uh, almost five minutes after eight. And Sandra just got into the class, right, Sandra? So we're gonna start, okay, with the, with the activities for tonight, okay? Okay, I have good. I have learned something um, about learning and about teaching 
a second language. In this case, it's English, right? And, English. you know, uh, it is more important that the student becomes like them, like the start of the class, right? You will learn it little by little. That's more important that you put into practice what we try to, to teach, right? Because when you put into practice what we teach, so that means that you are learning. Okay, I I will be like uh, talking during the whole hour, 60 minutes, the teacher spoke during 60 minutes, but that is not, it's not that useful, right? As if, uh, as when you uh, create something, when you look for some info, when you look for pronunciation, when you bring something that's not in the platform and then you show everybody that you are learning not only from the platform not only from the teacher but also from the internet and by also but, uh, but also by by looking looking for your own uh, english uh, source okay so that's, that's fantastic right. that that is fantastic don't think that the teacher is the only one that that has like the key to to learn now you are uh, very intelligent you can surf the net you can uh, have listening activities in the net uh, you can look for extra exercises etc so english you know we have a, a lot of information a lot of exercises a lot of um knowledge that we can get there right so, but this is the opportunity we have to share. Okay, this is a opportunity for the teacher to notice how well you are doing when learning. Okay, and I, oh, of course, I, I try to do my best over here. I can see Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. I can see Ceci over here. Okay, remember to type your complete names. Okay, so that's better. When I see Jessica, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rafael Ernesto is over here. Brandy, okay. I think everybody yeah. or the majority of the people got there, right? So that's quite good. So it is, hello, it is. Activate your microphone, please. We want to listen to you. Problems with microphone? You have problems no. with it? Yeah, it seems as if, as if um, it has problems with microphone. Christina, Christina, what, what is the activity for you to perform tonight? I remember that a uh, practice the conversation with, um, with our partners, classmate. And speak about the best resta restaurant in the world. And 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 I don't remember. There is a topic that we are starting tonight. Ask for uh -huh. your, uh, hi, Christina. Ask for we, ask somebody. We're gonna else. prepare a uh, uh, re uh, re re recipe. How do you say recipe? Uh -huh. a, re a recipe. A recipe, a recipe of, 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 of easy plate, oh, easy plate. <laughs> uh, not that so sophisticated like lasagna, right? No, 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 no. very easy. Okay, <laughs> very cute. So preparing Prepare some, some snacks, right? Egg. Okay, that's it. That's okay. the activities for tonight, okay? And let me see. Uh, I will try to go over, okay. Elizabeth says, sorry, teacher, I have difficulties. With my, okay. Well, uh, just for you to know about the topic we are starting tonight, I will I will share the info over here. Let me see. Okay, the topic for tonight is named sequence adverts. Okay, and just to have a, a very clear idea about what's coming soon, Actually, this is the first time we're going to see this video, okay? We're gonna see it like, if it is possible, like two or three times, because you, as you can see over here, we have the sequence adverbs. The sequence of repair. Yeah, like, 
did you investigate about this topic, people? Yeah. Yeah. Which are the, 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 the sequence adverbs in this part, for example? Yes, for you to let me know about, about it. Well, I have all that I found was first, them, after that, next, afterward, and at last, the final. Okay, the first one over here is first, first. then. Then. Then, then. Then, then, right? Next. <laughs> Next. Next. After, after that. After that. After that. After that. After that. Finally. And finally. Finally. Okay, so what does it mean? That we're going to see the video, but then we're finally. going to write down something so that we can get like the sequence of the words, the sequence of the that. idea, right? Step yeah, by I step. I think I think the polite uh, rules when you when you want to uh, ordering. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. So you know, I will stop. I mean, I I won't share the info just right now because I want to see what you got. Okay, from the homework. Okay, Elizabeth, thanks for letting me know. Okay, now I know that you have problems with your with your cell phone. Okay, we'll stop sharing this info and we will get back to the activity we you have prepared, okay? And okay. as always, well, Brandy, Brandy invented a, a new, uh, I mean, a word in the, in the group, right? She said, uh, the victims, right? I don't know why. The, <laughs> she said, <laughs> victim, select right? the victim. Yeah, like selecting the victim, right? No, I said volunteers, remember, I, I have always said the volunteers. <laughs> Is there any volunteer? Okay, but the shoot, the, shoot the victim. But but Brandy said, choose the choose the victim teacher. No, no, she says shoot. Yeah, choose <laughs> choose the choose the victim. No. What is oh, Andy? Well, you know, we have the first participant. That's fantastic. Rafael wants to share the information. Okay, Rafael. Which Rafael? Well, yeah, Rafael the... Ernesto. So okay, Rafael Ernesto the... is. It's the going recipe, to start. Right? It's about, about the restaurants and the it's recipe. About the, the recipe. Okay, so it's it's up to uh, you. You can okay. you can share either the best restaurant you in, you you find out or a dish that you that you uh, will prepare or that you have already prepared. Okay. It's about the beef birria tacos. Oh my. Birria is a dish originating in San Martin Hidalgo. It's very representative and is part of the gastronomy of the Mexican state of Jalisco. For some years, its popularity has spread to other states in its part of Mexican gastronomy. This is a dish passed on mutton meat, originally alto, alto. Is this also prepared with beef? Marinated with a preparation base on some types of chilies, seasoning and salt. With the juice that result from its cooking, a tomato base, salt, or consomme is prepared. Traditionally, is it, it is cooked in a metal container embedded in a well or underground hole, surrounded in the background and its walls with large embers of firewood is covered with leaves of maguey which in turn is covered with soil and left for an average time of four hours. That's it. Okay, Rafael. Now listen to me, Rafael. I'm yes. sharing I'm sharing this info because I want I want you to include in your presentation the sequence adverbs. Okay, so what are you going to do, Rafael? Meanwhile, the rest of the people are presenting 
you are going to look for a way to include the frequent, the, the sequence adverbs into your presentation, okay? Yes. I have a presentation ready. And you have your presentation ready. So listen, I will say this in Spanish. I'm sorry. It's because I just want you to get my idea on the way we are gonna work in the class. Cuando ustedes hagan su presentación, eh, la van a revisar y se van a fijar si tienen las sequence adverbs, por lo menos de los que nos están presentando acá. Ya. Yeah. Y si no los tienen, entonces ustedes van a buscar una manera de incluirlos en su presentación. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, de tal manera que si usted hizo la presentación y no lo visualiza en su, en su presentación, entonces va a ir a la, a la plataforma, va a ver el video y de alguna manera va a ver cómo incluye los sequence adverbs en su presentación. Para yo luego volver a preguntar cómo lo hicieron. Ok. 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 okay. okay. Bueno, ah. lo voy a cambiar y mañana lo... No, Pero Rafael, you have, you have to start working on that tonight. Empiecen a trabajarlo okay. ahora, en la, ahora, porque acuérdense, ah, okay. mañana ya les voy a explicar qué es lo que vamos a, a hacer. Okay? Pero ahora necesito que trabajemos en eso. Uh, háganlo en un documento Word, okay? porque les voy a pedir que me lo compartan. Vamos a, lo vamos a la, analizar como, como grupo, ¿ok? Okay, let's see. Brandy, Brandy, you, you say that you are more than ready. So I, I think you are. Okay, Brandy and after Brandy, Jessica. What happened? Bit me, I don't know. <laughs> Begin, Brandy. What happened? Try it again. Ah, uh, now yes, we can see the presentation, Brandy. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, it's my my second time. Maybe, but I I don't know why I, why I can't see. Can you see? No. Why I can't? Daniel, I have a presentation. Okay, Daniel, very good. So, Why I can is share is share. You can see this. You now, yes, we can yes, see. Yes, Suddenly, yeah. it disappears. I can see. Mm -hmm. Look now delicious. we can see. We can see now. I think you mm -hmm. have but some. But I don't know some, what I see. Some ice cream or something like that. Okay. Peach cup. Peach cup. Right. Peach. Cobbler. My presentation I is uh, I can show you what is a peach cobbler. I didn't know before. But now you well, know. Yeah. No, no, I baked before like a three times. Peach cobbler is a traditional dish of United States and United Kingdom. Okay, they 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 eat this dish like a dessert. Okay, for bake this. We, we will use two can of peach, uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and well, all this, but the point is the process. Okay, the process. First, we have to open the two can of peach uh, and cut it up in a slice or on a small pieces. In this part, you can see uh, there is the whole uh, pitch like uh, the can bring. Then a sprinkle brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. After that, we have to spread one box of yellow cake mix. That uh, you can see this, this part. At last, the butter in cubes. The, the butter had to be cold. And at the end, <coughs> you have to bake for an hour. 
and this is the result of this. The first time when I saw this, I thought it was born in a, don't look good, but really it tastes so good that you, you, you can try with other things, not just with peach, you can bake, uh, by the way, with uh, pineapple, with uh, apple or with other fruits. And it's really, really good. Ah, okay, teacher. Fantastic, congratulations. Hey, I clapped your report. I clapped your report and that was quite good. Now, how can I say this? Well, I will challenge you. Do you know what challenge means? What's the Desafio. meaning for challenge? Yes. What is challenge in the, Spanish? Desafio. Desafio. I will challenge you. Okay. Yeah, every, everybody, everybody in the group, because you, you have to do it. Okay, next week is going to be the last week, and I need to see line. Um, well, I'm trying to get uh, more goals with you. I mean, you to have like, like, um, well, I will let you know about this just right now. How am I going to challenge you? In el caso de Brandy y Rafael, que ya presentaron, ok, necesito que digan su presentación sin leer. Ok, necesito que, en, en, digamos, en la, en la presentación, que solo aparezcan imágenes. Ok, y que nos digan. No, no text. No. It just okay. I did just because everybody had to see the process, teacher, but I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I no, uh, I know you can do it. That's why I'm challenging you. Yo sé que si lo pueden hacer. Por eso les estoy lanzando eh, el challenge. Okay, yo estoy seguro que si lo pueden hacer. Even I have everything for sure, but I say, ah, I will create the presentation because I have everything here. And I try to say like the other day, and this is this and you have to do I can yeah. do it. Uh, why why am, I, am I telling you this? Because you are in, in intermediate English, okay, level. And you know, you're gonna move on to a higher level. And and when you uh, improve your English little by little, you will uh, you will have uh, the opportunity to present, uh, I mean, more information or longer information with without the necessity of reading the info, okay? That's why I'm yeah. challenging you. To do so. Si ahorita no están preparados, ok, léanlo. Pero de, en, en, en determinado momento, si tenemos tiempo hoy en la noche, yo voy a regresar. Por lo menos Brendy ya presentó. A lo mejor terminamos con Iris o no sé con quiénes más están dispuestos a, 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 a decir su presentación. Sí. Y ya luego sí. regreso con Brendy para que veamos cuán capaces somos y cuán bien podemos hacer. Hacen súper bien las cosas, pero yo sé que podemos dar un poquito más. Ok, Vicente, en After Vicente, Jessica. But I, I don't have the, the image, but I have the process. Or the, or, yeah, the, the process. May I begin? Sure, sure. Ok, good. This is a easy dish or easy food. And you will uh, find out what kind of it. First, put uh, a pan on the kitchen flame with a little bit of oil. Then put on a plate uh, a rice tortilla and take a, um, take a, or, or put on a, or a spread on the, on the tortilla, a little bit of beans and a pieces of cheese. Next, with a super uh, spoon, spread it and uh, fold it in the half and put on a pan with, for, for a few seconds. And after that, uh, turn it, turn it, I don't know, uh, how do you say, turn it, turn the tortilla to the other side. Yeah, turned. And turn, uh -huh, to the other side 
for a few seconds more. And finally, um, when the tortillas are a little, little uh, brown, and it's gonna be ready to, to enjoy. That's it. Oh, okay, pretty good. Hey, Vicente, which are the, the, the sequence adverbs you just in your presentation? I, I typed some of them in the, in the, ch in the chat. As far as I could notice, you use first, then, first, then, next. next. That's right. Pretty good. After but that, after that, good. And, and Brenda, finally, yeah, Brenda was just helping me oh, also, no. right? First, then, after that, next. And I didn't know you was texting. I just was texting. <laughs> okay, that's quite good. Thank you, Vicente. Now remember, okay. now, try to get the, the whole info into your mind and then if we have time, then we're gonna come back with you. Okay, good. <clears throat> Jessica. Okay, teacher. Dennis restaurant is a good place and you can find an excellent pancakes. The recipe of pancake is, first, you search a pancake flavor and milk, and butter, then you put a cup of flavor pancake in a bowl and some milk, later mix. Next, in a pan, you can put the, the flavor, the flavor with, me, with milk and some butter. After that, you can serve the pancake with some fruit and honey, and finally you can enjoy the pancakes. That is the that, that is the best part, right? When we yes. we are able yes. to enjoy the snack. Enjoy. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> the best part. I have a question. Tell me, Brandy. I have the same part like everybody. I think that I always say, I put, I put, I put. Which other word we we can use? And for change this, yes, put, put, put. Well, you could set uh, things on a, on a, somewhere, set, right? Set it set. on, yeah. Set, set it, it on. on or put it there. Put okay. it there. So like, um, or add, add, can I, can I use add? I add more, I add this. Fred. Ah, ah, I got what you are saying. You are talking about adding, right? You can say yeah, add, I include, say I put, I... include two spoons of, okay, put two spoons of salt, butter, or whatever, right? You yeah. can include, add, like the one you add. mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, because in my case, I, I sometimes I forgot this. I say, I take this and I put this. If I will cook, I say put, and I use put many times. Yeah. Okay. That was quite good, Jessica. Jessica, right? Uh, I saw there was another volunteer. Raise your hand Angel if you say, want. Angel, push the uh, hand uh, up, Daniel. Daniel also, right? Daniel, okay. Yeah. After Daniel, Angel. And if we still have time, we are going to, to allow some other people to present, okay? And later we are going to see the information in the in the platform because at the end of the class I will let you know what's coming for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be fantastic. You will see. Okay, Daniel. Daniel. That really. Come on, you can do it, Angel. <laughs> no, now no, I think it's Daniel, Daniel. Daniel's participation, right? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, Daniel, we are all ears. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Go ahead, Daniel. We are hungry. Okay, thank you. This is my presentation about the famous dish. Uh, I choose the pizza because the pizza is the famous food around the world. The pizza is one of the best, now most demanded dish around the world today. Um, its appearance date back to 
compared to some sound of Europe. Some people say that that invasion took the many uh, in many countries, but at the time, um, but something thing that um, occur in each certain or Italy, Italy. At that time, a time of fresh baked, what's consuming very close person of what this product is today. Okay, famous and common restaurant in El Salvador you know about is Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, uh, Pizza, uh, uh, the Pollo, uh, Pollo Little Camper, Sister. Another, Little Sister, another. Okay, uh, the recipe for make a real Italian pizza is uh, a little, um, it's some, some ingredients like flour, what kind of flour, three eggs. Um, three spoon of oil, mushroom, tomato, basil, and the famous uh, cheese. The process to make um, a pizza, the first step is heat oven to feed 500 grates. Okay. Then mix some ingredients like uh, Flour, eggs, and one spoon of, of oil. Next, on a highly flour surface, save the pizza um, and forming a oval or circular plate, separate or for prepared sheets. After that, should tomato sauce, mushroom, and add the famous mozzarella cheese. That's Taste delicious. Then sit on on side, sit, sit it on side, a little basil leaf. Finally bake in oven heat up to 100 grades for the highest temperature, around the 15 or 20 minutes. Mm. And enjoy. Thank and you. enjoy. Well, if that was quite good, Daniel, congratulations. Thanks for doing your your first, your, I mean your best F4. Then you have the, the, the sequence adverse. Now I think okay. Angel is presenting, right? Thank you, okay, Daniel. Okay. That was quite good. I will provide some some um some fields, but at, at the end, okay. A, a, a very general um observation about the, this activity. Okay, Angel. Uh, hello, teacher and hello. classmate. Uh, tonight I become to, to the victim <laughs> and <laughs> I don't have a, a presentation, but uh, I will take to, uh, I will take, I will talk to, I will talk to about the restaurant in Coralito, uh, which is located in my municipality. Uh, where I live. Uh, it's a very beautiful place which have uh, many flowers and animals which we can see because they uh, are free in, in the restaurant. Uh, and I can see when I waiting for they take the order to the food and uh, they prepare a very delicious uh, dessert specialty, uh, three meals. Uh, it's a dessert but I can talk to you how to do to prepare it. Uh, first, we mix the milks. We use whole milk, evaporated milk, and condensed milk. Uh, and then we uh, add a cup of rum and, and mix very well. Uh, with, uh, with that, we, uh, that we, mil uh, we, that we finish to mix it. Uh, we have uh, prepared the milk to we add uh, at the bread for the three milks and we can start to wait here, uh, which is prepared a base, uh, a base of pastry mix. And next we add a chanty creme to the bread. It's very easy to prepare this and we can add cinnamon and liquid chocolate to decorate this. And the finally, we add uh, two cherry for the three milk at ready for to eat. 
and finish. Thank you very much. We love okay. the teacher. Yeah. Uh, listen, I will provide some uh, some observation about the way you prepare your your presentations and the way you present the information. Okay. Uh, I can see that you still have problems with the pronunciation of regular and irregular verbs. Okay, so that tells me that's mandatory to have um, a review on those on that topic, right? And in order to do so, well, you are going to be in charge of uh, looking for info related to the way to pronounce regular verbs in the simple past form. Besides that, um, I, 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 can, I can see that uh, some of you do not look for, uh, for the right pronunciation of some words. You know, English, uh, uh, when, when preparing the information in English, you need to go to Google Translator if you want to go there and type the word that you will use in your presentation so that when you are over here, you don't have problems with pronunciation. You don't have uh, uh, problems with pronunciation of words. Okay, so I noticed that, well, you, you are doing your best effort, but I just want you to provide like some pieces of advice, okay? Pieces of advice, up, up, okay? Le voy a hacer esta, esta pequeña observación, okay? Acuérdense que yo se lo he dicho, yo, yo me gusta enseñar con cariño y Por eso hago las observaciones, porque yo sé que pronto van a estar con otro teacher. A lo mejor ya no conmigo, pero van a estar con otra, con otra persona que igual pues este, va a querer ver avances como yo los estoy viendo. Entonces, por eso hago este paréntesis así en español, porque quiero que quede claro. Cuando dan sus presentaciones, antes de hacer su participación, investiguen el vocabulario. Pronuncien las palabras cuantas veces sean necesarias. ¿Ok? Si no lo tienen claro, váyanse ahí a Google Translator, porque es lo, lo, lo que tenemos más a la mano, digamos, para escuchar pronunciación. Y ya luego, cuando, digamos, por lo menos hay un frequency, uh, sequence advert that's first, First, first. Ok, yo lo first. puedo, yo lo puedo, miren, es un sonido que no tenemos en first. español, en realidad. Entonces, como no lo tenemos en español, yo lo que necesito hacer es, es practicarlo, ok. First, 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 porque al principio first. cuesta y decimos fierce. Algunos decimos fierce, eh, otros fer, first, first, y no es esa la pronunciación. Entonces, esa es como una observación que yo sí les quiero dejar claro. Lo otro, con la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Vamos a hacer mañana, no tenía pensado hacer esto, pero mañana eh, todos van a estar listos eh, con respecto a cómo se pronuncian los verbos regulares en pasado. Hay tres grupos, ¿ok? Ustedes nos van a explicar mañana, eso ya lo vieron en... en En básico, si no me equivoco. Yo lo, yo lo enseñé en básico. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso, ustedes nos van, a, nos van a enseñar cómo definir las tres categorías de pronunciación. ¿Ok? Como es un repaso, pues yo solo voy a pedirle a unos tres de ustedes que nos ayuden. Y si todavía no está como al 100% claro, entonces yo les voy a ayudar. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Eso, eso va para mañana, sí o sí. Ok, now let's yeah. see. Let, Let's, any question? No, no clean. Okay, oh, clean. so. All right, so let's move on. Let's see. Ah, además de la observación, no me voy a quedar con eso. Los quiero felicitar porque, miren, ni siquiera hemos visto el video y ustedes usaron súper bien <laughs> los sequences. Thank you very much. Thank you, no. teacher. Thank you. We, es que yo lo we único... make our best. Ya, yes, si lo único que quiero que descubran es que el ritmo de aprendizaje lo ponen ustedes y que ustedes deciden cuánto inglés quieren aprender. O sea, yo 
Yo eso es lo que quiero que descubran. Si usted dice, bueno, voy a aprender lo que está ahí, pero también voy a buscar otras cosas, it's up to you. Okay, let us go over, the, go over this activity, people. Pay attention because we still have like 20 minutes. Then I will get back with the people who didn't use the sequence adverbs in, in the presentation and also with the people who didn't memorize the info. So let us try to do our best over here. Here we go. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Hey, what, what, is the, what is the lady talking about? Popcorn. Ah, uh, she's talking about popcorn. And, and actually, she mentioned the way to prepare popcorn. Yes, right. So let's see. Let's continue yeah, seeing and listening to. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, mm, it's great with chips. Guacamole. <laughs> okay, what did you listen to? Guacamole chips. And, oh. and also a little nachos. And also, some nachos. I, he, he mentioned that's quite delicious with some nachos, right? Nachos, right. Mm, wow. Well. So there is a guacamole sure. dip, right? Yeah, guacamole dip. Yeah, guacamole mm -hmm. dip. So let us go over the next people. Listen. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Toast. What is what is she talking about? Toast baguette. Toast is baguette. All right. Or bagel. How do you say beagle? It's, I think it's bagel. I think it's bagel. Uh, we're gonna listen to it later. If I'm mistaken, well, we will notice about it. Okay, now I think pizza is missing, right? <laughs> now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes, but you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case, we can see that there is a recipe so on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverb. First one, first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb. We use then, lightly toast the slices of bread, 
Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, fry the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Hello everyone. By the end of this class you got a question, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. How how was how was the information? Uh, I got a question, teacher. For example, uh what mean tablespoon? Because I know uh, soup a spoon, coffee spoon, but tablespoon, I don't know what is what is that. I mean tablespoons are like like you there need to can I explain? Yeah. I, I can show you too. Okay, there are two kinds but... for cook. It's okay, like yeah. the regular when you took a soup, but it's you have like a, a side for the, it took. It's and related the, to the, the size, one, right? The, the other is teaspoon. Yeah, can you show a tablespoon? Okay, Brandy is, is coming soon, okay, with a tablespoon. Maybe it's a little big. Yeah, I mean, it, it refers to, to sizes of spoons, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Meanwhile, Brandy comes, okay, because she she's... Uh, looking for it. Yeah, she's looking for a tablespoon. Yeah, I will try to continue with the info. I didn't know before. <laughs> uh, Brandy, okay, Brandy got a lot it, of right? spoon. Yeah, it's like uh, one cup that I didn't know before, and I should buy for this. This is half tablespoon. Half, that's right. This okay, is thank one. You. This is one. So that's me. Thank Super you, fun. Brandy. Thanks. Thank it's you. better when we see it, right? I think there's no more. Uh, I mean, it's be, it's uh, <laughs> it's really nice to see it. Have a collection spoon, Brandy. Yeah. Collection. Thank you very it's much. A, I hate to cook, but I, I love the dessert. Yeah. Use them all. 
dessert. Okay, I listen. Have a problem with this word. Listen, listen, people. Now, we're talking about the sequence adverbs, okay? And the, these sequence adverbs can be used also in a, in a paragraph, okay? So that's the second activity we're gonna be working on, okay? So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to start by talking about pronunciation of regular verbs. Mañana lo primero que vamos a hacer es verbos. los verbos regulares. Okay? Me interesa mucho que, que, que oh, overcome, que venzamos o que superemos eh, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Que okay? mm. súper interesado en eso. No corresponde al nivel, pero igual a mí lo que me interesa es que si hay alguna dificultad que la podamos solventar. Entonces. Uh, okay. Regular verbs, transition of regular verbs for tomorrow. That's the first thing we're going to start with. Con eso empezamos okay. mañana. Lo segundo, okay, good. Okay, lo segundo oh. es, y como esas palabras pueden aparecer acá en una recipe, pero también pueden aparecer en un párrafo. Van a investigar que es una Mel. oración okay, en inglés que es un párrafo y cómo, cómo se crea un párrafo en inglés. ¿Cuáles son sus partes y cómo se crea un párrafo en inglés de cualquier tema? ¿Ok? Eso es para mañana. Ok, good. Y lo último, ok, porque necesito pasar lista. Para recibir actualizaciones personal. Sorry, sorry. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay, and just to finish, ¿qué se viene la otra semana, chicos? We will final have... exam. Okay. Nos viene el final test. Entonces, ¿qué okay. vamos a hacer mañana? Mañana, algunos de ustedes van a jugar el rol de maestro. How come, teacher? ¿Cómo así, teacher? Pay bueno, attention. Ya, pay attention. Que, si ustedes se fijan, como que los temas como más significativos siempre vienen con, 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 con videos. ¿okay? Entonces, mañana, dependiendo cómo se mueva la situación con los verbos y con, y con lo del párrafo, vamos a, van a estar preparados, ¿okay? porque yo voy a elegir quién nos va a decir la información de ciertos videos. O sea que yo voy a, a darle play al video, pero en audio. Entonces, mientras el video va transcurriendo, va a haber alguien que nos lo va a estar explicando. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, people? Ok. Ok. Yeah. Which one? Got it, got it. No, which one? No le puedo decir cuál porque lo que yo necesito es que estén preparados con todos. Que estén okay. preparados con todos porque acuérdense que se nos viene el final. No va a ser okay. tan difícil, pero es necesario que hagamos un repaso, ¿ok? Ok, so we have a relation with adjectives, we have expressing wishes. Uh, I think we, we, we started about um, direct and indirect. Uh, questions. Hey guys, I I, I apologize because I didn't get the audio. No, it was not with you. No, it was with the other group, right? So I no, think for we did. Class, for us two teachers, there uh, is some parts of the video that are not available to listen to. Yeah, I apologize. This one, I think, right? Check the correct answer. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry because I, I tried to get the, the audience, but I couldn't, people. Uh, I will try to continue um, <clears throat> looking for those videos so that we can get the whole the whole exercises. How many now, videos we have to check for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you have two, you have two. Two, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, list attendance, people. So be ready, please, because we are missing only seven minutes. I think we'll be. 
five. Very, very fast, right? Okay, Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Jansi. Angel. Present teacher. Brandy. Present. Cecilia. Present. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Diana Stephanie. Elena Noemi. Elena, is Elena here? Elena Noemi, no. Elena Noemi have a problem with the internet. Oh, so she, she couldn't, she couldn't. She texts to you. Uh, so she's over here, I'm sorry then. So Elena, so here Evelyn, Susana, I saw Evelyn. Yeah. Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Gladys Mavi. I'm here, present. Good. Iris Concepcion. Present teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Present. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander. Maria del Carmen. I saw Maria del Carmen over here. Give me one second. Maria del Carmen, are you here? I can't see her. Well. Okay, Maria del Carmen. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Ruth. Sandra Noemi. I saw Sandra here. Vicente. Yes. Sandra is here, but it's on Here, teacher. Okay, and Janina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Can we repeat? Just in case I committed a mistake. Anna Jansi, Diana Stephanie, Kevin Alexander, Maria del Carmen, Ruth Elizabeth. Only those people were not in the class. Okay, guys, I think we're almost done with it, with the activity for tonight or with the classes for tonight. It's been a, a pleasure once again. I wonder if you have any question about for what's activity. coming tomorrow. Okay. So uh, uh, what, what are the activity for tomorrow, Cecilia? Tomorrow in the... Um... Uh, Irregular verbs. First, in the, first. In the past. Three form. Regular three verbs. Form pronunciation. Pronunciation, two. pronunciation mm -hmm. of regular verbs in the simple past form. You know, if you if you right. memorized the simple past form of regular verbs, you, you already know about a uh, past participle. Mm -hmm. Okay, past so if you know about a pronunciation in past, you know about pronunciation uh, uh, in past participle. Thank you, Cecilia. What's yeah. coming next? To create a PowerPoint. You're going to investigate. Investigate, investigate to, how you create a PowerPoint. And how English. to create a paragraph and create a paragraph. OK, so si, si no les queda tiempo como para crear un párrafo, búsquenlo en el internet, OK? Y solo identifiquen las partes de un párrafo para que cuando... Okay. Porque yo sé, acá todos ustedes trabajan, yo sé que son personas muy ocupadas y este, busquemos estrategias, ¿ok? Para siempre aprender. Ok, second part is a paragraph. And the third one. Explain about the videos. 
You gotta see the videos, right? Okay, ya los estudiamos, ok, ya los vimos a, a, yo creo que es suficiente veces, los hemos discutido. Ahora solo queda hacer un pequeño repaso, ok. All of them are in platform. All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. I think yeah, we're I mean, just... Yeah, yeah, they are like, they are like four or five, no more than that. Four or five, uh, okay. okay. I highly recommend you to do this. <laughs> Miren, le voy a recomendar. How we sí. can save the videos. Sí, ajá, le voy a recomendar lo siguiente. Miren, mañana voy a pedir voluntarios. Le voy a adelantar. Entonces, usted, cuando yo diga, ok, este video y usted quizás se preparó solo con you. uno, cuando diga eso, entonces, <laughs> y ese y este listo. Mi ticho, ese es mi ticho. Go ahead, everybody. <laughs> Ok, hagan, hagan trampa, haganme trampa, la cosa es que, que participen, ok. You can say I pass. Uh, yeah, so I will, I will offer volunteer, right? So, y cuando usted diga, ay, con eso me preparé yo. Uh, so then you, you raise your hand and you say, me teacher, that me was, teacher, please. Okay. That is my video, I can say. You have so, to jump and say, me, me, me. Yeah, that's right. So let's my see more of my video. Let us okay, I'm an good. angel. Even if I can't see you, I will say angel say <laughs> Let <laughs> us see you tomorrow, people. Making... It's been a pleasure. Okay. okay. God bless Thank you. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. God Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Thank good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Work too much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I have to work, so see you. <laughs> okay. okay, see you. See you everyone. Bye, Rafa. Bye, Rafa. Right.